The National Ignition Facility is the world's largest and most energetic laser system. During experiments, 192 high energy lasers converge on a target about the size of a peppercorn. Heating, the, heating a capsule of deuterium and tritium to over 3 million degrees Celsius and briefly simulating the conditions of a star. In achieving ignition, the researchers at Lawrence Livermore have opened a new chapter in NNSA's science-based stockpile stewardship program, enabling us to study new regimes. Along with this, we have taken the first tentative steps towards a clean energy source that could revolutionize the world. But last week, for the first time, they designed this experiment so that the fusion fuel stayed hot enough, dense enough, and round enough for long enough that it ignited, and it produced more energies than the lasers had deposited. About two megajoules in, about three megajoules out a gain of 1.5. The energy production took less time than it takes light to travel one inch. Kind of fast. So this is pretty cool. Um, I have a special message to listeners who want to work on exciting, challenging, and important problems. We're hiring. <laughs> And you have to have um, a robust system of drivers uh, to enable that. So, you know, probably decades, uh, not six decades, I don't think. I think not five decades, which is what we used to say. I think it's moving into the foreground and probably, you know, with concerted effort and investment, a few decades of research on the underlying uh, technologies uh, could put us in a position to build a power plant.